25 ETAC on the uh, water in the 16 low, and let's see how it does. So just a few things, we're gonna kick on the aerator and put some water in there, we'll check that out. And then we're gonna run this motor real quick and see how it does. Here's shifting, so there's neutral, and then there's reverse. We'll just show it working here. Let's see. Back and down. There we go. That was good. Back to drive. Very smooth shift on these. That's nice. There's our weight. Okay, and here we go. Full speed. show you around this 2014 low fishing machine 160 I had to get it back a little bit because it's behind the FJ how cool is that look so let's start here at the bow or the front of the tongue of the trailer we got a two inch ball on here four flat plug swing away on the trailer LED lights around it we got a swing away jack and adjustable st uh, winch stanchion there Nice and snug, okay, perfect. Uh, it does have a Dirks anchor guide here with a clam cleat for the uh, anchor setup. And we're uh, going along here. Uh, Condition-wise, a few scratches here and there. The trailer has some uh, rust spots on it here. We'll show you as we get along there. They've been, they've been taken care of with Pour 15, which is a, a sealant so that, that uh, keeps it all from continuing. And so uh, you'll see a little bit up here of that. Where it's been covered up there you can kind of see where it's bubbly a little bit uh, this stuff is supposed to soak into there and do that but the owner had that all taken care of and going down the side of the boat we'll get you some condition looks a few scratches here and there uh, they'll get a, a little better as we go down the side of the boat we just want to show everything on this boat we always like to be full disclosure uh, this rail has a, a like a bed liner coating in this section right here and the reason I think that is for is because this boat was used for crabbing and when you're crabbing on it you a lot of times will set the trap on top of here so they put that coating on there to make keep it looking good and and not getting all beat up so that's kind of nice okay we've got uh, easy lube on the spindles uh, we can, uh, those are nice. It goes back to the back of the spin or on the back of the hub bearing and gets it there. Uh, we've got side guides on here. A little bit of, you can see a little bit of bubbling here on the aluminum paint here where it's been, uh, the paint, you know how it typically does that in Oregon. We get a little bit of that around a few of these screws here too. There. It has a nice setup on the bilge plug where you can just leave it in there. This is the pickup for the live well up front. Mercury, I mean Mercury, Evinroot E-Tech motor. Little powerhouses. These things are really feisty little motors. This thing did really good. We got 22 miles an hour out of it as per the GPS. So, and it had a lot of torque out of the hole. It did really good. Transducer mount here. And then looking down the side here, not a lot, not a lot of damage. It looks like it's been pretty well kept this way and uh, not scratched up too much. A few little scuffs here from the from the dock edge, which we get, you know, always get on those. Pretty common, traditional stuff. See underneath here, there's not a lot of scratches on the bottom of the hole at all. I don't see really 
Much a little bit here on the keel and the skeg, but not too bad at all. You can see there's a little bit of rust here on the uh, transom bracket, but it looks like it is pretty solid still. I mean, transom bracket, I meant the, the bunk bracket. Stuff you can see here where some of the rust has been repaired as well, here and there. There's some. Okay, let's go and hop up inside of here. So 16 foot boat, we've got three seats in here. Uh, we have a five person capacity in here. I liked the, I liked the, really when I ran this boat, I really liked the positioning of the seat versus the tiller with this motor package. So the seat is in a great location to match where the motor is. The motor is manual tilt trim, so it doesn't have a power tilt trim setup, but it sits above the waterline, so you can really put the motor down. There's not a lot of advantage of the tilt trim uh, on the water because at a 25 horse with this motor, it's not going to make a big difference trying to trim it out. And so you've got to, I mean, you're going to set it at that speed and you're going to probably pretty much be at top speed there. Um, our battery and our tank are, are rigged right here. Uh, which isn't a problem. I kind of thought it might be in the way a little bit, but it stays completely out of the way uh, where you're walking and you need to work. So it's kind of tucked away. That makes it nice. We've got a couple switches. We've got our aerator switch here. Got our bilge pump there and our nav anchor light there. Okay, it does come with a, a few Scotty rod holders with brackets around the boat. So you are rigged for holding different things. Fire extinguisher in here as well. Hummingbird, uh, we got that video, we were running it a little bit, we did check it, but it's a 788 CI HD, that's the down imaging, that's where you can get a little bit better resolution shot down underneath the boat. So we have a little bit of corrosion in the corners here, nothing too bad, nothing too crazy, but there is that, I like to disclose everything, we don't want you to come out here and not see exactly what you're getting. Uh, this is a consignment boat, but... Uh, Got a few scrapes and scratches, but overall, it ran, it performed really good. I was actually really pleased with the performance of the boat, especially with that 25 horse. It did really well. A lot of storage here in the sides and lockers. Uh, we don't have the key here, do we? I think I have the key in the boat. To open this locker, it was locked, but we did have the live well. We got that shot of it working. It's pre rigged also, too, for a bow mount trolling boater. So that we have power already routed for and stuff, and then. There's a little storage area for your anchor down in there, or you could put it up inside there, as well as you have the anchor guide again, so that's really nice. A big, huge live well with a bait tank section as well, so you can throw your bait in that side, and you can use that to put your fish in, keep them spry. Um, nice flooring in here. Flooring's in really good shape, actually exceptionally good shape. The flooring's really nice in here, uh, solid as well. So it kind of tucks everything to the center right here, but that's kind of nice because, you know, a smaller boat like this, you don't want it listing or leaning too much. So you can keep it there. Plus, you know, when you have kids or anybody, I could even ride fish right along the side here. So there's actually a lot of room. I'd probably actually pull a lot of these seats, these chairs out and just sit around the edge. I think it's almost easier to do so, but if you need the chairs, great. This one, you definitely need a chair back here for the tiller. Uh, but uh, in the middle, that might be an option. Do it how you want. It's your boat. Okay, looking over, uh, that's a uh, wrap for that. Uh, we've got it here in Florence, Oregon. We're right on Highway 101. Right now we're at the lake, but uh, we keep it right on Highway 101. We're easy to pull in and out of. We're a small little dealership there. We've got bo you know, boats and RVs and all kinds of cool stuff, but uh, come and check it out. Uh, come and take a look, uh, look at it, get some eyes on it, and uh, let's make this boat your boat. You know, I think you'll like it. Uh, it's really good. I think we got a really good price on it too. It's going to be a really good value for this setup.